It doesn't happen to me uh, too often, but I do know the feeling. Me when I disassociate. I think it's just like sometimes you would have like 11 beers in college and then you would go uh, to the bathroom and then you would look at yourself in the mirror and you would actually like be seeing yourself for the first time. Like it would be like the you that you identify with is behind your eyes looking at like an image of a person. Like you're seeing yourself as other people see you for the first time in your entire life. I got that bizarre feeling a couple of times. Not a lot though. It's a re we really in this mofo moment. <laughs> I don't know how long that door is gonna hold that spring in, by the way. <laughs> Fuck me in office. <laughs> this was the uh, the room that looks like the purple room. Or what? what is it? Oh yeah. Oh, someone. I think someone died. The chicken nuggets are just ground up bones, brother. Wait till you find out what soup's made of. Oh, oh, you eat bread, really? The most processed food on the planet. Did you, you, you know, you starts out as a little seed and then it shows up as a big fluffy sandwich. Yeah, yeah, okay. You play, okay, the, the, the recipe for making bread. Put a seed in the ground, water it, wait six weeks, a freaking sprout comes out, grab the sprout, take it to a factory, grind it up into dust, reformulate it, add water, like, a, like it's instant noodles or something like that, turn it into a dough, mold the dough it's into some shape that doesn't exist naturally occurring on earth, bake it in the oven and slice it up. You're gonna tell me a chicken, a chicken nugget is just the bread of the chicken world, man. <laughs> You so, want to explain it for the people emergency? That don't hey, oh, little <laughs> antibodies convert all piss production to cum producers. <laughs> <laughs> you picture like a cartoon fucking. I'm giving it all to like, Scott, Captain. Walking through, walking through your body with that goofy ass John Lennon walk, donka donka, big lever, <laughs> Bing, kong, and all the yellow stuff turns white instead. Yeah. Like a piss tank oh, drains yeah. and a cum tank fills they're like up. Shoveling, <laughs> there's like a they're shoveling coal at <laughs> one point. They're like shoveling, they're speeding yeah, up yeah, the yeah. engines and shit. So I use this 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 app that like that Sorry. monitors that monitors my sleep. Yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. And like it records that like if I snore or something, so you can keep track of it. And last night at 2 15 a.m. it says sleep talking in parentheses or in brackets baby fussing or crying comma sleep talking question mark <laughs> and then this is the sound that played for me when i woke up oh my god Dude. <laughs> that is so good. You know, my mom texted me today. We were just having a conversation. She revealed something about my grandfather. Sometimes he would get constipated as a young adult. And uh, when he achieved relief on the toilet, I swear to you that this is what she told me. I don't know if it's real, but I swear to you that it's what she told me. When he got relief on the toilet, when he had a bowel movement finally, he would stand up after wiping and throw a $20 bill into the toilet and flush it as his way of like saying thank you to the toilet for helping him achieve relief. My grandfather was not a wealthy man. Yeah, we can tighten those balls right up. I'm telling you in it. Listen, if you were a normal patient, I would tell you $15,000 for the, the de-elasticized ball uh, thing, we'd keep you in the hospital for three days. You in and out 15 minutes, I'll tell you. No, no, no. You just pick up my, uh, my caddy fees next time. This makes me fucking sick, dude. This is a completely made up scenario I concocted in my head. Makes me fucking, I'm disgusted with the level of corruption and nepotism in this world. Oh. I gotta tell you something so funny. Oh, okay. So I pooped. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes! Yes! Okay. Dude, this is like actually my ideal FPS. Those are all enemies, huh? I don't know if people realize that th this is why older people always talk about the way things were back in their day. It's not nostalgia, it's just relating. See, the, because if you're the same age, what you don't realize is you're saying all the time what things are like back in your day, but it's just that today is your day. So when I'm talking to my 12-year-old niece about what middle school is like, and she says something about middle school, and I'm like, well, back in my day, we didn't learn calculus until the 11th grade. People would be like, wow, that's what a boomer would say. What do you want me to say? Goo goo ga ga, hit the gritty? Like, that's not, I can't relate to it. I gotta relate through the lens of, of the past, because that's when I lived that shit. I've seen the Blues Brothers. I know Chicago has the train. It runs past everyone's apartment, right? Like the start of every movie about someone in Chicago is like they're living in an apartment and at 1 a.m. it's like Three builds today. Everyone's trying sure. their hardest to be entertaining and all I have to do is like riff well, that, once well, there's every only one four left. minutes. Because <clears throat> everybody has already built. The last. Well, like I'm doing show, exactly what the viewers are doing, yeah. dude. Like people that are minutes. just watching Germa stream, I'm doing exactly okay. that. I get it now. I got now I'm going to take my top off. I want it back. No, he's smoking a cigarette. Can I, dude? Can you pilfer? I've never seen this dialogue option before. Please, sir, back off. I do not know if I can contain this homophobic joke for much longer. In thirty seconds, two enormous wooden cylinders will fall from the ceiling and crush your skull like a honeydew melon, unless you cut off your dick with a pair of scissors. Good luck. Is it German bit? What the fuck? Germa saw bit. Germa saw gas bit, but actually in saw. If Germa 985 was saw, gas bit with video. I can't do anything, man. I don't know anybody else who's in Mezrine Killer Instinct, so I gotta go off of Vincent Can Cassell. Mezrine Public Enemy number one? Mezrine, ah, son of a bitch, bro. Jean Reno in Leon the Professional. Ow! Oh! I'm not dying in Paris! The Visitors, 1993. What the fuck, bro? The world is not enough? I can't name any more Jean Reno. Oh, yes, I can. Godzilla. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. I'm trapped in, in French cinema. Please, please pivot off of this. Go, go, to, go to America. The Visitors, two corridors of time. Motherfucker, dude. You're a uh, bon cop, bad cop, too. Bon Cop, Bad Cop 1. The Chronicles of Riddick. What would you bring to the office potluck? My office potluck pick is hot dish of feces. Then my opponent, cum shit. I read mine out loud, dead silence in the Discord call, before I can even finish the first syllable of cum shit the entire Discord call erupts in outrageous laughter. It's the funniest thing they've ever heard in their entire life. It loses 91 to 9. I have three points at the end of round one. It drives me crazy, man. Like when I uh, return that lady's phone to her, her sons are being very nice to me. I very much appreciate it. Then one of them said, God bless you. And I said, get owned, bozo. I don't believe in that shit. Oh, God bless me? Oh, could you be more specific and tell me which God blessed me? Because uh, I'm not sure if you know this, but what you might think is your God is a little different than what might be my God. 
And also, have you ever read uh, in Deuteronomy 68-1 when he says, uh, thou shalt not lose your phone, that shalt, thou shalt always do the three taps. So you always know that you have your keys, your phone, and your wallet on you at all times, and then you could prevent this situation. Oh, God bless me. Well, if there was a God that prevented bad things from happening to good people, why didn't he prevent you from getting your phone stolen in the first place? Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? I'm so scared, dude. Please. It's so scuffed. I gotta go, dude. Like one second spent in the circle could probably kill me. As a person. Okay, I don't, I'd rather deal with a potentially nice cleric than whatever the hell's going on the other side of that door. <laughs> All right. I see how it is. He's definitely going off on me. <laughs> oh, man, that was good. Slurp me. My base is too big, man. Why is this castle so long? I know, it's like, uh, it's too big. It's like a boomer's house. Like, why do you have a room that just has, uh, like, four chairs in it, and then nothing else, and then all the chairs have piles of clothes on them? Your ass is making mortgage payments? Three mortgage payments a year? Just go to paying for the room with four chairs that has clothes sitting on it? Like, it doesn't make sense. Hang on. Today, we need to figure out how the F... Sorry for the language. Takes damage. I can't, I can't read this with a straight face. When this bar reaches zero, the unit is out of this fight for the combat and will return to full health when the combat is finished. You realize we got real... What the fuck am I doing? We have real problems in this world. You want me to sit here and read a sentence that says, this is health, when it reaches zero, the unit is out of the fight for this combat? We got real fucking problems. I'm experiencing a loss of purpose. What's going on? What am I doing, man? I gotta call my mom. Increase. All I can think of with God as my witness, you saying that man keeps his socks on during sex, I'm picturing like Rudy Giuliani. That's it. That's, it's the only image that comes to mind. It's like a man who, like the second to last piece of clothing that he takes off is like uh, his suspenders. And then like his pantaloons fall down. And then he's got like dress socks on, you know, like those really thin, soft socks. He probably just took off a dress shirt that is like blue and it has the white collar and the white cuffs. I mean, while he was taking his shirt off, he had to like undo his cufflinks first and then... I'm, I'm sure that's not it 100% of the time, but that's how it feels to me. Fucking weird ass undershirt, so true. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Respect. POV, you just said, uh, no, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> how did I get a nine? Take I hate when you say you're I not gonna go nines. there because 95 percent of the yeah. time you go there anyway. Well, I was yeah. gonna say yeah. POV. You just told me you love my videos, so then I realized my guy was holding a gun in first person. It was like it was my perspective. Oh, oh. 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 Okay, I can't fall. <laughs> Take a breath, take a breath. <laughs> Does Apollo know? Oh god! I'm a goddamn man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> They're all gonna go die to it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Apollo's looking dead.
I would definitely do it for a, like a suitably large amount of money. I would do it for $5 million. Let's start the bidding at $5 million And we'll, we'll, his people can call my people. I'll give you four. No, the bidding goes up. <laughs> <Not> the... <laughs> if it's between you at four and George Lucas at five, I'm, I'm, if it's between anybody at four and anybody at five, I'm taking the person at five. I don't think there's that much of a difference, you know, from my perspective. If anything, it's probably... Um, George Lucas would probably be easier. I bet he would come quick because he's a Star Wars fan. <laughs> you didn't know Calm Fior, who plays the big bad in the Chronicles of Riddick, is also <laughs> Canadian, did you? I don't know what else this fucker's in. So I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm on lethal right now. I'm one-tapped, okay? I just took you to Trois-Rivières. Fun cop, bad cop too. I was, I was hoping you would skip me, brother. I was hoping you would skip me. Welcome to Trois Rivières. Welcome to Laval. Welcome to Gatineau. Welcome to Montreal. Welcome to Quebec proper. Enjoy your torty air. You're free to go. Good game. Good game. Librarian, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Americans, after you play 63 American movies, but then you drop one Canadian movie? <laughs> to be fair, I wouldn't have known where to go from Bond Cop, Bad Cop 2. Not a single person said the fact that you can know that you know something, but it takes you like a minute sometimes in order to figure out the thing that you know. If someone says, who played Ari Gold on Entourage, you'll be like, hang on a second, I know that one. I just gotta send the guy back in my brain to pull out the Jeremy Piven volume and then bring the Jeremy Piven volume up to like my executive functioning frontal lobe and go, it's Jeremy Piven. Your brain is legit like a librarian, man. It's crazy. You check the... You check the computer and it's like, yeah, we got like eight pieces of information about Jerry, Jeremy Piven. This should not be made by a company that's called Food Should Taste Good. This company should be called Flavor Co. And it should be in like neon cursive, like a neon sign in the corner of the bag, not in the middle. The bag should be hot pink. And there should be like a little cartoon dude on the front with his hair sticking up going, wow, wow. And then under his face, it should say like, more corners equals more flavor or something like that. They screw it. This looks like a chip that like only uh, your doctor would tell you to buy, basically. But they don't taste like that. It's like a flavor explosion. It, there should be an ad on TV where like your grandma's eating plain Lay's and then like they the lights turn all like red and purple and someone kicks down the door and there's like a smoke machine and someone skateboards in and is like, ah, cause they're the crunchiest chip of all time. Tap on the pipes to spin them. World's smartest streamer. <laughs> you got a floral over shirt. Sure, yeah, send it up. <laughs> it is actual shit. The hell, it's impossible. Never mind, I'm amazing. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> the game is way too easy until the first true boss. Okay, yeah, I've heard this about 100,000 times from chat as well. I've heard nothing about the game except, oh, get ready for the first real boss. Get ready. It, it, it's going to blow you. Hey, is the game fun? I don't know anything about that, but get ready for the first boss. Get ready. Can I give you a tip about the first boss? Please don't. Oh. I would like to play it sight on scene. Also, I would like there not oh, to be no like... Uh, it's got to be your controller, right? No, I think there's a hair in my mouse or something like that. 
Hang on, I'm... I'm <laughs> but what are you... How are you gonna use your claw? You... You hit the button. Like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you guys gotta go. Give me piss. Did your daughter give you the inspiration to play this game? It's so wild to me how many people look down on like a supposed children's game. Bro, they're all children's games. Like when your ass is holding down right trigger and like screaming epithets at people in Call of Duty. Who do you think you're playing against? You're playing against four teens and like 35 year old dudes who <laughs> wish they were 15. <laughs> Times are tough. I know that. But I want to say, if you're the kind of person who goes to a grocery store and rips three bananas off of the bunch in order to only buy three bananas because you only need three bananas instead of six, Fuck you, you piece of crap. A bunch, for all intents and purposes, is indivisible outside of the home. Because then, you uh, the only reason I could ever see this happening is if you bring a partner with you who also only needs half a bunch, okay? Other Ridley Scott should, in the next Alien movie that he pretends is in an Alien movie, they should make an ass burster. Like, Danny McBride should be like, No, guys, no, I feel good. I feel good. I feel... Ah! And then... The game's going into the vents! Oh! Oh, my ass! My ass! Oh, man. Virtuoso. Mars is not a name. Mars is a name if you are in ancient Rome. It's not a name in the real world. What about Bruno Mars? It's an assumed pseudonym. It's like saying XAE-12 Theta Sigma is a name. My friend's name is Mars. How did you make friends with them when they're homeschooled? Answer me! Was it fencing class? More health, please. Auto-rotate on your phone is Boomer Core. Uh, well, yeah, well, you know what? Gen Z Core is knowing how to turn off auto-rotate on your phone, but not knowing the interest rate on your credit card death. Boom. Roasted. Stanley... You crush your wife during sex. Boom. Roasted. <laughs> minus two. Minus two. Oh, it's the first time you've ever had a joke made at your expense? Welcome to adulthood, kid. Fifteen years of he's bald, he's bald, he's bald, making fun of the illness that almost killed him and left his child an orphan. Wait a minute. You can't make fun of me. Four years ago, I was just a kid. Welcome to the fucking show, buddy. Get ready to learn Chinese, buddy. I mean, I guess what I'm trying to say is if you actually need the cock boiler to get off, then buy the cock boiler. But don't let society trick you into thinking that everybody needs the cock boiler. Some people need to have their cocks boiled. Some people are content with them just being at like ambient human body temperature. It's the same with like skydiving or dancing, you know? All I'm saying is these pro skydiving motherfuckers have been real quiet ever since the submarine imploded. I do. Simvicta would call me the egg. Old reference, but still good. Yeah, yeah. Apollo would call me ball. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way it spells it out is amazing. Yeah, I really like the all yeah, the. the... Hmm? Mouth oh, would well, call me uh, baldy. Baldy, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. uh. Justin would call me uh -huh. shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Everyone's you're calling yourself the house leader. 
shitty. I would have been a shit eater. Pick mouth. I would call him a spouse feeder because he's a nice guy. Oh, thank you. Aww. <laughs> that's very nice. You pick me. That's, that's, a, that's kind. Fucking bitch. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> so you get me saying nice things. <laughs> oh, my threat level's too high. <clears throat> He's walking around. Cover the man. Cover the man. Shoot the J. We're free. Oh, he's done. It's it's ticky tacky. Oh, you know what's going on? What? Ref, are you kidding me? <laughs> Someone streamed. I was just picturing like Steve-O next to the cum bed with like a <laughs> screwdriver and then like poking what it up, with. <laughs> Have you ever seen Ratatouille? I believe Christopher Lee has the, the most important quote from the movie. He says, the critic is a piece of shit. They don't do anything. Their lives are worthless. Only people that make grilled cheese sandwiches and sell them for 75 euros deserve your respect. And I'm the one making the grilled cheese right now. So shut the fuck up. I'll say though. So, and I can't believe I'm going to admit this online. But uh, I was I was wrong about I, I I finally saw old Bo Burnham's inside. It's great. I it's it was okay. good. You saw his inside. I enjoyed bro? it. What the hell? <laughs> I enjoyed it. I was hating on it. I was hating on Bo. I was wrong. Okay. I admit this. No, you can you can hate him. I don't. I didn't hate yeah, him. no, you can hate him now because he's um, making out with Phoebe Bridgers back. Here was my dad thought, and it, and it. I am, a, I drive safely, like I don't drive recklessly, but it dawned on me, like when I have takeout in the car, I drive really, really, really safe, right? <laughs> when I am just driving normally with my child in the car, I just send it. And I, I started to reevaluate like my thought patterns. You know, if you got like, like soup in the car, like you got ramen or udon or something like that, I place it down like, it, in front of the front passenger seat and I try to make like really smooth turns and stuff like that. If there's no soup in the car but my kid's in the car seat, I'm like, what are you doing? Mer -mer -mer. Get out of here. Whoa, whoa, you're blocking the bike lane. Get out of here. My latency is off by like an, uh -huh. a, I just it recalibrated like mine. A it tenth like of a second. Off. How Can do you I, recalibrate? We should all do that. My ass go into the calibration menu for a second. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let's um, all calibrate. Okay, so because of my controller drift, I immediately went to the options menu and it changed my language to Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> that is very fun. At least you didn't leave the spectator mode because you wanted to play along the song. <laughs> oh man, what am I gonna <laughs> do, dude? <laughs> I Hang on, I'll, I'll figure this out. Oh no, it's changing all my display settings! <laughs> so my latency went from negative five. Negative? <laughs> negative? My input latency went from negative five to positive five. He followed the script. Oh baby, two cheerleaders. We must be in the major leagues. See, this is just uncomfortable. I don't know what to do with my eyes. It's just I'm I'm looking respectfully, not because of the. What the pleasures of the flesh. I'm looking respectfully because I know it must have taken a lot of practice and, and like reciting and, and coordination in order to get that locked in, okay? In, in order to get that kind of synchronicity. I'm appreciating the choreography and wondering how much they get paid. I'm wondering how much they get paid to be the in-stadium entertainment. I hope it's good, because it's something you can't do forever. A lot of people are saying, can you play a real game? Gamers, I get that you're making a joke. The main problem is that it's not funny. The second part is that you're doing it from an indefensible position. What is a real game? League of Legends, where you as a fucking hot wizard stand uh, behind a wall of little monsters 
and you, you, you stand there and go, a tick, 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 not attacking anything, even though there's obviously monsters coming for your base. Tick, 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 boom, I got the last hit, my kill, my kill. Tick, 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 tick,
Nobody on my Pokemon Go friends list still plays, except for people that are psychotic. So the current like research objective, I gotta send 25 friends gifts. Only three of my friends still play Pokemon Go, and they all do the narcissist tactic, where they only send you gifts, they never open yours. Why would someone do that? Don't they want the Pokeballs? It's not about the Pokeballs, okay? It's because experience in Pokemon Go is like the most precious quality you could ever get. And the only, you, you get a huge burst of it when you hit best friends with people. So they get you all the way to like you almost, you're one gift away from being best friends. Then they pop a lucky egg and then they open the gift so that they get to choose when the friendship experience pops and they get du double the XP. I'm getting, I got like four people right now stringing me along like that. It is for pervert based reasons. Yes, you got me. Okay. <laughs> Little bros whacking it to music videos like it's 1982. Shit is embarrassing, man. It's disgusting. <laughs> you know she's just singing a song, right? You weirdo. What are you doing? Bro, I'm trying to stay off the porn. <laughs> well, it's not. I think you missed the point. <laughs> Dude who got a porn addiction starts whacking off to music videos. Holy man, I think you got that. <laughs> you need to change therapists. Because <laughs> you just turned the, the music into pornography now. I swear this is real. It was a, a job that I worked at my first year in university. And in the lunchroom, a dude was, he was like... 24, he had a knife and a, and a mango and was like going like shh, shh. And I said, what the hell is that? And he said, it's a mango. And I said, where'd you get a mango? He said, I've been eating them for years. I went to like boarding school in Singapore. I was like, what the fuck? He said, do you want a slice? He like Indiana Jones, he sliced me off like a little sliver of mango. And I ate it off the knife like a sub, and I was like, this is the best tasting shit I've ever had in my entire life. Why are they hiding the mangoes from us, man? My therapist, why do you think you're a little sensitive to criticism? Well, I spent five hours a day getting yelled at by like anonymous people online who give me money to bully me. She's like, whoa, that's fucked up. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Should we dig into that a little bit more? Aren't barbarians supposed to be naked? Well, it depends. When you think of barbarians, you probably think of Dungeons and Dragons. I think of Odo Acer, one of the Ostrogoths who was instrumental in sacking Rome in the 4th century AD. We're not the same. Wasn't Odo Acer king of the Gauls? You fool. You don't even understand what you're saying to me? That's Vercingetorix. Okay? If you're gonna come at me, you best have a, at least a, a bachelor's degree in Dan Carlinology. My husband and I have three children. We go to visit all their grandparents since they live close. Here's the issue. They don't like the idea of women wearing pants. <laughs> me neither, brother. High five! My mom, I'm joking! God could have killed me, could have struck me down, and my parents would have been like really sad. Big whoop, okay? <laughs> Not big whoop, but... <laughs> Now, ever since then, I've gotten on airplanes, or even like some rides. I, admittedly, they're only at Disney World, but I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm daring you, motherfucker. You're going to kill me? You're going to kill me? You're going to ruin like eight lives? You're going you're gonna to fucking blow me up on Leviathan or something at Canada's Wonderland? The track's going to break? Go ahead! Insane labs, insane veins, sour apple flavor. Get ready to go gorilla mode and get massive pumps. With cherry blackout. Like, what? what is the state of men's marketing, man? Like, this is not right. I would never consume any... Look at, look at this, Corey, are you seeing this? This is what the people in the Peloton, in the egg carton are taking now. 
This is the current state of things. People are, they're basically taking legal steroids to get their FTP pumped by like an extra 20 watts. They're taking Insane Labs Psychotic Diablo Summer Series with Pennywise the Clown on the, on the front of the bottle. It's for real men only. This ain't your dad's workout supplement. Cherry lemonade flavor, by the way. No ickies here. I like how they got Twitch chat on the side, too. Me when I'm on a call with Kai Sinat. Bro, W Squad, W Squad. He's on the call with Kai Sinat. Whoa, little bro's on the call with Kai. What is he talking about? Why is he quoting 2000s era movie d d directed by Jay Roach? Meet the parents so much. Bro, you're creeping out. This, uh, you're scaring the hoes. Stop talking about meet the parents. I'm a 27-year-old engineer that has to get roommates. It's awesome. I know. It, like, it's, it's fucking crazy. What happened to my banner, bro? Like, I'm not say saying it was easy when I was younger, but it was definitely easier. I think it's like dishonest for people to be like, you know, well, when we got our house, it was like a 12% mortgage rate. Yeah, but your house was like, you know, 4X your annual salary or something like that. Nowadays, people they get like a medical degree and uh, they live in an apartment with like six other people who all have advanced degrees. It's crazy. Okay, we're ready to go. You know what? I'm taking the stairs. Oh! I got a Charlie horse. It scared me so bad. I got a Charlie horse. Oh, oh my leg. Oh. Oh. It's so bad. Oh, okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. You just gotta, whoo, you just gotta stretch it out a little bit. I'm I wouldn't do that personally, but that's just because I enjoy not losing. <laughs> Speedrun record for this is 24 minutes. Guy at the gym who's like, hey, I see you're out for a jog. Did you know that the world record for a 100 meter dash is 9.41 seconds? Just something to aspire to. I noticed that you, <laughs> you ran for 20 minutes <laughs> at a pace of uh, 12 minutes per kilometer. I, uh, I missed the era when pot was not legal in uh, Vancouver, but it was like the police didn't do anything about it. There used to be like, um, like little, I don't even know how to describe it. There used to be like weed farmers markets, like really sketchy, uh, like craft tables would be set up. And you would always see like 55 year old dudes selling dabs to like 14 year old kids in the park right outside of the train station and stuff like that. It was a, it was a wild, it's the wild west, man. Those were the days probably. Then they shut it down and I had to find a new revenue stream. That's when we started streaming a lot more. What was the most cringeworthy moment in Willy Won in the Wonka trailer was for me was when he said, this one's for you, mom. So the fucking story is like, oh, Willy Wonka's dad walked out at him and he's a little crazy, so his mom became like his best friend, like some Jojo Rabbit shit. No, he's crazy. That's Willy Wonka. He's just insane. He he shows up on Earth fully formed in his purple suit like a Cormac McCarthy character. The chocolate factory was never built. It, it's merely existed since time immemorial. He exists only within the confines of the book and the movie, and that's it. There's no, he was never born, he never dies. There is no Willy Wonka, and there has always been a Willy Wonka. I don't need to see Willy Wonka fucking... He gets, so some bully kicks sand in his face and says, Why don't you go make chocolate, you nerd? And then that becomes like his whole... 
life story. Like, it just, it's not necessary. Why would you be surprised that I, that I listen to NWA? Because you're bald and pale? Harassed and racist? I'm going to call a drone strike. Sorry, I'm still, in, I'm just doing my Obama impression still. <laughs> What the hell is this ad, man? What is wrong with my cookies, dog? Look at this. Don't piss off old people. The older we get, the less life in prison is a deterrent. Holy cow. Do it. I've never been uh, like in bed and close my eyes. Oh, I wonder what my own ass feels like wrapped around my cock. I dropped my daughter off at daycare and she was going like, she was weeping, openly weeping because she was going to miss me so much. But then she was maintaining a strong facade. She was saying, Daddy, have a good day. Daddy, I love you. Daddy, I'm going to miss you so much. Yeah, if, you, if that doesn't bring a tear to your eye, then you might, you might be a little bit dead inside, brother. Oh, uh, you love crying? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> Fucking puss. <laughs> I had a dream last night that I went bald and I don't know how to articulate it to you because I know that it sounds insane because I'm already bald. But I know that in my dream, I like, I knew in my dream that I was bald. It wasn't like I dreamt that I had like a cool head of hair. Like I knew I was bald, but I like was in a gas station bathroom or something and I went like this in the mirror and I had like some wispy sort of hair here and a big bald spot in the middle. And I woke up feeling like fucked up. Like emotionally a little shattered. Like I, for about a minute after I woke up, I was like, I'm fucking going bald, bro. It was, it was a crazy dream. Like it, it played on my feelings, despite the fact that I've already gone through. It's the first time I've ever had like a bald trauma dream. You think you're just getting tired of games? No, not at all. I, I love video games. Even though every time I play video games I like, people say this is a video game for toddlers, and they take a, a big hit off of a lemon pound cake flavored vaporizer cartridge, and then say, I play games for adults, and then sit down and play some Warhammer spreadsheet for like 25 hours, and then go jerk off to hentai. Anyway, sorry, I got a lot of trauma like associated with subjecting my living my entire life in the crucible of anonymous online criticism directed at my intelligence. We're working that out, you know, not you and me, but me and my therapist. Anyway. Ryan, yeah. this is a bit big for us. Stop, don't go around this corner. Look on the roof, you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk, let it hit your head and then don't move. I'll save you. All right. My flashlight, bro. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Die, you get it! You get it! <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> oh. oh, God. I think it Listen, all I'm saying, people aren't ready for this take yet, and I understand why. No game should have dialogue. Maybe that's too far. Maybe Disco Elysium should have dialogue. No other game has, has earned the right yet. No, NL, you don't understand the writing in Baldur's Gate 2. Listen, are you an industry plant? That one's where for did, you, Chad. Where did, where did Kate go? She's eating lunch before her stream. Uh, <laughs> she said if you'd listen to women. That's very true. <laughs> uh, I, I do listen to women. So much that I was, I probably didn't hear it because I was listening to other women as well. I just <laughs> name yeah, name so five women, name five women. Anya Taylor-Joy, uh, Amelia Earhart, um, <laughs> Hillary Clinton, um, uh, Obama's <laughs> wife. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Without insulting the profession, I mean that sincerely. But ever since they changed replies to prioritize paid blue checks, it could be like, uh, you know, 
a, a, a fucking daycare exploded in Cincinnati today and you click to get more information and then the top reply is like someone selling pictures of their body and the reply is like, you can explode in me if you want. And I'm like, people died, bitch. What are you doing here? You have some decorum. Hang on, hang on. Firefighting. Incineroar. What? He's a professional wrestler with fire in his name. Uh, Cinder Ace. This is unbelievable. What is, what is Cinder Ace? Fire Soccer? Fire First in Evolution. Oh, Fire, fire Dragon! Charizard! Or is he flying? Oh, not quite full power. Nice shot. Should have had a little backspin. What? Oh! What was that? It's the craziest shot I've ever seen. It hit the, it didn't hit the pole, it hit the canvas. The canvas dampened it enough to, to land in the hole. Hey, NL, do you like matcha? Shut the fuck up. Match him your nuts up with my forehead or something. Match, how about you match your lips around my, you know what, you piece of crap. You think I'm gonna fall for that shit again? You like cold brew? Yeah, yeah, I love cold brew. Oh, cold you brew up some juice to put on my nuts that you can suck off? You fucking asshole, dickhead. Bad man. Get, get back here, get back here. Gentleman Boners is a subreddit for images of beautiful women, but not debasing themselves. Not showing off all the goods. Instead, they're dressed in, you know, elegant evening wear and stuff like that. I love the idea that's like, we're gonna oogle you. We're gonna masturbate to the images to completion. But we're gonna do it respectfully. This is not a normal boner, okay? This is not the, the boner. It's not a, a, a boner from a place of malevolence. It's not disrespectful. These are gentlemen's boners, okay? No, 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 I'm not jerking off to a nude image of you. It's an image of you just dressed for a night out. It's a gentleman's boner. It's the cleaner option. What do we do? Wipe our asses with paper like animals? No, we let the soothing power of water cleanse us, make us whole, make us real again. And excuse me, I need to use the bathroom now. I thought this was America. They took our jobs. They took our jobs. Uh, can we add some smug? Oh, and the bidet needs to talk like the shake weight or Bebe's boobs. Smart bidet, good morning, Randy. Please choose power and temperature. After a little change thing can pop open to pay it. Lamau. You need to be on the writing team. This is perfect, in character, especially the end, lol. Didn't they already kind of do that with the Japanese toilet episode? Dude, thank you. All these comments saying South Park should do a bidet episode. I'm thinking in my head, damn y'all fake South Parkers. People, there is a loneliness epidemic. This shit has nothing to do with the original post at all. These people are just reaching out, looking for somebody to... There he is. I got him right here. He's right around the corner. That's on me! Badger I'm with their top sign! I'm badging you from the ground, man! Damn him! I'm in him! He's freaking me out, man! Damn him! You got me on your injury, man! He's got to get jumping for me! Get him! <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck you! You, you fucking <laughs> suck, bro! <laughs> 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 but like it it don't stress out if you if it isn't like immediately like day one you're like i would do anything for this child you do it at the start because you like you know because you have to and because you like you had the baby obviously idiot 
But then like now I'm like, I'm doing this stuff because I want to do this stuff. It wasn't like there was like a flashbulb moment for me that immediately, I mean, it changes your life, but I wasn't immediately like, we're instantly like inseparably pair bonded. Now I'm like, I'm like, we're ride or die. Have they changed the camel? Bro, I'm spilling my soul out here. <laughs> you asking me about the damn camel? This isn't even a damn dromedary. But how crazy is it that like five, six years ago, there were so many, not all software developers, okay? But there were a lot of computer programmers who are like, um, sorry, truck drivers, you're all gonna be automated. Five, five or six years, the Tesla semi is gonna come out. You guys all better learn to code. Here we are in 2023. They can't stop the Teslas from crashing into brick walls. Meanwhile, chat GPT-4 can code a whole game if you, with like one sentence as a prop. Maybe your asses should learn how to drive a fucking truck. No, honey, I can't change a vacation. We're in the middle of a six week sprint to change the font from Times New Roman to Times New Roman italicized. How about a, I'll be a skilled programmer. Hey, we're, no, 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 I'm, honey, I can't go on vacation this summer. We have a really important project. We're rounding these square edges on all of the buttons on our website. We're moving the position of the button that everybody already knows where it is within the enterprise. We're moving it to the other side of the screen and collectively costing the company thousands of hours in labor uh, from people that can't find the button and then have to submit tickets to tech reports saying that the button is now missing. Yeah, but it makes more sense logically to have it in the top right corner in the hamburger menu instead of having it just sitting there on the top of the screen like it's not even thematically fitting with the, the layout of the CSS. It seems like every streamer, once they start averaging like 400 viewers, the next tweet they make is like, I'm so excited to announce I'm moving to LA. It's a great opportunity for me to network with other content creators and be in a city where like I know the culture and stuff like that. And then like the next month is 10 hours a day of Valorant on stream plus Uber Eats. Oh, the last kiss. But then I can't think of another movie Zach Braff is in. So instead we go, how high? With Method Man. Hey Tomo. Garden State? Good answer. Unfortunately, it was the last movie stated. Um, okay, we'll go, we'll go the fifth element. Sorry, the fifth element? You know what? No, no, no. We'll go Barbershop 2, back in business. Anthony Anderson is not in Barbershop shop 2 back in business. Barbershop 1, interesting play, okay? Now I gotta think about this. I think we're taking you from Cedric the Entertainer to Man of the House. And if you wanna do it, Diana Prince to Wonder Woman. Alter Ego. Excuse me. <laughs> this cro I told you this crossword was trying to get me canceled. Ice cold Michelle Pfeiffer, the white gold. This one's for the good girls. Them hood girls, straight masterpieces. Styling, flying, living it up in the city. Got the Saint Laurent with the chucks on. I gotta kiss myself, I'm so pretty. It's too hot, hot darn. Make a dragon wanna retire, man. Too hot. Hot damn. I'm too hot. Damn. Say my name, you know who I am, I'm too hot. Hot damn. Girls hit your hallelujahs. <laughs> Girls hit your hallelujahs. <laughs> Girls hit your hallelujahs. Cause Uptown Funk gonna give it to ya. Cause Uptown Funk gonna give it to ya. Cause Uptown Funk gonna give it to ya. Saturday night can we're in the spot. Don't believe me, just watch. <laughs> 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 And, like yeah, I, I gotta put you back in the crib. And she freaked out. She was like, no, no, it's too scary. And I said, I'm just gonna put you in the crib and daddy's gonna go to the potty. Can daddy go to the potty? And she said, yeah, daddy can go to the potty. I went and stood in the bathroom for two minutes. When I came out, she was asleep. 
This is a perfect crime. <laughs> I didn't even have to pee. <laughs> genius genius moments in parenting history at every genre it might have been made in oh this is made in evolution apparently you can go third person or first person i just don't know give me super mario rpg man type one letter and then just pick a game um excuse me it was seven days to die, and I got it by typing A into the search bar and clicking a game randomly. There is a god. <clears throat> Did you see that uh, Diablo 4 is doing like a blood drive to unlock new items? I only saw it because I saw a quote tweet of the uh, promotion today and said, unfortunately, I can't access the new Diablo 4 items because I'm gay. <laughs> Oh, man. It's like, it's a great idea, but I maybe they didn't think through all the, the repercussions. <laughs> Being a kid was easy in hindsight, but I was stressed out at the time. I think that's fair. And that's like basically the, the reason for my worldview, that we should give kids jobs. Like we should have life structured in such a way that it works in reverse. It should start really hard, like child physical labor it, and like dangerous stuff too, like Alaskan crab fishing and like going into the coal mines and stuff. And then maybe when you're like 12, then you can have like a nine to five office job. All right, that did not go well. Slash marker. YouTube, don't age restrict this video. I was telling some things that people need to hear. If you can't hear about your parents doing it, you're not ready for what the future holds, okay? Didn't you hear Goldman Sachs has one trillion dollars in collateral for three trillion trillion dollars in derivatives? The animals are leaving. We're alone in this universe, but maybe it doesn't matter because I just want somebody to. You know. Anyway, um. You want to drink some water too? She's going to get her water. We got a brief window. She didn't see it. She didn't see it. That's good parenting right there. And then I just, look, I just put him in his crib, honey. OMG, NL's gonna play my favorite game series. Are you talking about Armored Core? Don't lie. Where did all these Armored Core fans come from? You, you liars. There's a game that eight people in Osaka played until From Software exploded after making a decade of Souls-esque games. Now everybody's like, oh, I'm so glad they're making a new Armored Core. You, I didn't hear shit about Armored Core 10 years ago. Nobody was talking about it. They made five of them? Yeah, back in the Sega Saturn days when you were positively zygotic. You were riding the Shinkansen. They made 15 of them? People are saying they made 15 of them. I don't believe it. If they made 15, why isn't the new one called Armored Core 16? You know right now that you should exercise more. You know you should eat right. You know you should learn how to cook. You've had 10 years to figure it out. Why are you not doing it right now? It's different for me. It's different for me. It's different for me. If my spouse's parents were both professional personal trainers, I would make an effort. Okay, you probably would. And maybe you'd stick with it. But statistically speaking, probably I'll catch you in the same chair 10 years later, looking roughly the same. Maybe a little worse. Just that's how things do with the, with the passage of time. Also, you get as you get older, at least you know, if you're roughly around my age, the older you get, the busier you get. So if you weren't going to knock that shit out when you were 21, tick-tock, motherfucker, your window's getting even shorter. Yes, you can. My dad did multiple trips to Alaska. What are you talking about? Here we go. Here we go. Can you get to Juneau, Alaska by car? 
Why is Juno not accessible by car? The absence of a road network is due to the extremely rugged terrain surrounding the city. This in turn makes Juno a de facto island city in terms of all transportation since goods coming in and out must go by plane or, goat or boat in spite of the city's location on the Alaskan mainland. Guess what? Sounds like you should listen to your dad a little bit more carefully instead of scrolling through your phone while he's telling you about the experiences in his life that led him to be the person that he is today. Because I'm sure your dad, if he went to Juneau, Alaska, probably said we had to take a boat there. And you were going, huh, huh, ice cream so good, ice cream so good, gang, gang. So maybe you should listen to the things that he's telling. <laughs> Kate, can you come in here for a second? <laughs> Is this me? <laughs> yeah. That's you. I this is me. It's you, man. I feel like this is like Kingston, Ontario. Probably more out uh like this way. Circa 1992. Young boy learning to ride a bicycle in Ontario? What the fuck? <laughs>